this video, I'm going to be going over the best red zone money play in all of Madden 25, and it is the play drive post from Trips Tied In. This is in the Buffalo Bills offensive playbook, and this is going to beat pretty much every coverage in the red zone. Now, we're going to first start off with cover three and cover four with shaded down hard flats is normally what you would see here. These are probably two of the weaker coverages in the red zone, and I'm going to slowly uh, kind of get into some of the meta stuff that you're going to see. So the first thing with this is the setup. So the setup that I like to do is I like to uh, basically run it like this. So I have a tight end in route that I stemmed up one time. I have a this backside post I stem down. Uh, I basically stem it down so that it runs across the field. You can go as far as to stem it all the way down. I don't think you need to do that. I think you ultimately just need to stem it down like once or twice. Um, but anyway, we can just you can stem it. It doesn't matter. Just stem it all the way down so that it runs across the field. You're gonna flat the middle slot receiver. And then you're gonna in route the outside receiver. And if they hard flat, the main read you're looking for is this is this out route. So first read is always this flat, and then normally you're going to see real quick that that's going to open that up, and then you're just going to throw that in route for a touchdown. Now, let's say that they let's say that they do run like a cover three and they use curl flats. You almost never see this inside the five because there's no real reason for a curl flat zone for most people. Uh, most people just don't see why you would use that. So if they do that, normally you can throw, you can still throw your in route. I don't know why I totally hit the wrong button. Um, you can still throw your in route. The curl flats in this game, they used to, so what used to happen is the curl flats used to like basically play the in route. But in now since the most recent patch, the curl flats still just kind of go to the flat. So you can still kind of just throw this route right here. Okay, so the next coverage that you're going to see, and this is one of the most common this year, is you're going to see cover two, but they're going to take the safeties and they're going to put them in curl flats. So the weakness of this coverage is going to be this back end zone throw to your tight end. So you're going to see here, I'm just going to high point the tight end and let him kind of get that nice possession catch in behind the yellow zones against that coverage. The next coverage you might see um, from some people is shaded down man coverage with two purples and a user in the middle of the field. Totally might see this coverage. Now, you don't see this one a lot because it's just there's a lot of holes in it, but you could see this, and basically one of these routes will win. <laughs> um, one of these routes is going to be able to get open against man. Normally, it's going to be this tight end route. Okay, Normally, it's going to be that tight end route. And then if they... Just to kind of clarify here for you, if they do decide that they want a user the tight end, I'm going to try to mimic this by manning this guy up to the tight end. If they do decide they want a user the tight end, then this middle route is going to be uh, normally open for you. So we'll see it like this. And then watch this in route. Eventually he's going to win. Eventually he's going to come over the middle and he's going to be wide open. So that's kind of how you can manipulate man coverage. And then let's say that they leave. Let's say that they don't have those purples out there. If they don't have those purples out there, then what you're able to do is you're able to throw your post. Okay. So you kind of just have a lot of options against man to man. This in route on the outside, one underrated thing you can do is stem them all the way down. It'll make him run a little quicker. But anyway, you'll see, see how this post just does a nice job at beating man. So that leaves us with really like the last coverage that I want to, to cover, and I think it's the hardest, is a shaded down cover two, and then they re-cloud flat. Uh, shaded down cover two, and then they re-cloud flat on the outside. So you're having to deal with, with this cloud. I don't know why he's not. Make sure this guy's clouded. Vert hook. There we go. Yeah, I don't know why it's not showing that. Anyways, so when you so the main read here is going to be this post so this post and this ghost route combo is really good for dumbing out cloud flats and what you'll see here is you would high point this sometimes the cloud will randomly do that um i think that's because i i did some shading let me re let me recloud him this time but normally this ghost route will just hold this cloud 
So you kind of see here, I'm going to high point it too. Yeah, I don't know why that's happening. <laughs> don't know why that's happening. Let's try it one more time. Oh, it's because this guy's okay. That's why. Okay, so this is the cloud, <laughs> and now this will make more sense. So it's just the alignment bug in Dollar. It's like, why is that happening? And then there is other stuff open, but I mainly want to show this route. That's the route you want to hit, right? That's the route that you want to hit. So what was basically happening, guys, is I was having a hard flat and a cloud flat, which is good. So like if I hard flat this guy and then let's say I let's say I cloud this guy, this is pretty good for defending this because you have two you have two zones, right, that are ultimately going to be able to defend this. But the weakness of this adjustment is this backside in route. So watch this backside in route. Boom. See what I'm saying? So you have to have like three to four yellows to defend that backside in route if you're going to do that double flat. The other weakness of this is, you know, we could also kind of mix some mix mix plays like this in. Like a little hitch, little little uh, little running back streak. You know, just mixing stuff like this in can really kind of help open things up for your main play. Love if we can catch the ball, but in general, this is kind of what I like to do in the red zone right now. If I want to pass, obviously it's easier to run the ball, so run the ball. But this play just has a lot of answers for a lot of the meta coverages.